Hi, Fanny Charles out of Long Island, New York, and this is part three of the video series of the book review, The Art of Nonconformity. Set your own rules, live the life you want, and change the world by Chris Gilbo. You can find this book at Amazon.com. I'm going to go over some key points out of chapter three that I believe you will find value out of. Okay, so chapter three, the title is Smashing Through the Brick Wall of Fear. He starts off with a quote from Poe Bronson. The absence of fear is not courage. The absence of fear is mental illness. Okay, so, you know, we are supposed to have some fears in life. The question is, are the fears serving us or are the fears hindering us, depending on the context? So he asks, so what are you so afraid of? He goes on to talk about the three fears. You have the fear of failure, you have the fear of success, and you have the fear of change. The fear of change is the most scariest of them all. We all like certainty. We have attached certainty. It's a form, a certain form of like mental security for ourselves, but life consists of change. The body that I had as an infant is not the same body that I had as a toddler. The body that I had as a toddler is not the same body that I had as a preteen. The body that I had at a preteen or as a preteen, um, as an adult now, I don't have. Change consists of growth. Where there is change, there is growth. Everything is consistently changing. You know, you plant a seed, it grows into a sapling, it grows into a plant. I may be mixing it up somewhere in there, but you understand what I'm saying. It grows into a plant, but it first started as a seed. It's the same thing with an oak tree. You have the acorn, you have the seed, you plant it. Next thing you know, you have a tall tree. It is still consistently, it's still changing. It is still changing. As a tree gets older, it gets taller, it gets broader, it gets wider. It is consistently changing. Just like now, we're consistently changing. Who I am today is not who I'm going to be next year, not even tomorrow, not even within the next, not even in the next hour is consistent change. So basically, we have to become comfortable being uncomfortable with change. And he suggests that you do that by increasing the pain of the current situation. Okay, so you don't like your current situation, so increase the increase the pain, intensify the pain about the current situation and decrease the fear of the desired situation. So that's the strategy that he gives to employ to employ for you to get where you need to go. All right? So, he sums it up with fear is normal. The goal is to conquer the fear, not to avoid it or pretend it doesn't exist. Another key point he puts, the pain of making a change, okay, he says the pain of making a change must become less than the pain of staying in the current situation. Most remarkable people are not remarkable by nature. Instead, they made a few key choices along the way that helped them overcome their fears. And last, asking yourself, what's the worst thing can happen, helps to put big decisions in perspective. Okay, so let's go over what's the worst thing can happen. Okay, so something, what's the worst thing can happen? And will you still be alive? Will you still recoup? Will you be okay? When we sit down and we start to think what's the worst thing can happen and we face the fear dead on, it kind of takes out the guesswork of what you think might happen which you're really not bringing to the forefront. Sometimes we just have to look at it, you know, square in the face in order to make the next step. All right? So, the art of nonconformity, set your own rules, live the life you want, and change the world by Kiss Bilgro. Chris Gilbo. See you in the next video. Bye.